My name is Paul Johnson. I'm the Fire Prevention Officer for the City of Kelowna Fire Department. Today at Kelowna Fire Station 1, we're going to be demonstrating the effectiveness of a fire sprinkler system. Behind me are two similarly furnished bedroom suites. Watch now as we light each room on fire and demonstrate how effective the fire sprinkler system is. dispatch. Okay, and do you see any heavy flame or just smoke? Anyone inside? Thank you very much. We're on our way. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit more on fire behavior. Um, one of the things we're going to talk about is how smoke is fueled. Call 911 for reports of heavy smoke and flame at 575 Fire Hall Lane. Okay, let's go. Senior Corner one for reports of heavy smoke and flame, 575 Fire Hallway. Both sides of the cubicle were similarly furnished and both fires were started at the same time. As you can tell, there is a noticeable difference between the side containing the fire sprinkler and the side which does not contain the fire sprinkler. The cubicle I am standing in was unsprinklered. There is significant damage to the walls and to the furniture. The room achieved flashover, which is a term that we use to explain when every object within the room has caught fire. Temperatures within this room exceeded 1500 degrees person would not be able to survive these temperatures. Comparatively, I am now sitting in the cubicle which had the fire sprinkler installed. The fire sprinkler system activated when temperatures at the ceiling reached 155 degrees Fahrenheit. The water from the sprinkler prevented the fire from growing, thereby minimalizing the smoke creation and providing valuable time for the occupants to escape to their family meeting place. As you notice in our demonstration, the smoke alarms in both units were activated very quickly. The early notification provides valuable time to leave your home.